Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to look at a practice problem that finds out equilibrium outcomes for the firm and the market in perfect competition. So my question is this one here, we have five identical firms who are trading in a perfectly competitive market. Each of those firms has a marginal cost function equal to 90 plus Q, so small Q is the amount that the firm is trading. The demand curve in the market is expressed by the equation QD is equal to 990 minus 4P and I've used the large Q to denote anything to do with market so that's market demand. We are asked what is the market price and the market output? How many units does each firm produce? Now to answer this question we just have to first recall that in perfect competition the market price and the market output is found at the intersection of our market demand and our market supply. So visually the diagram looks something like here on your screen P star is the market price and Q star is the market output. Now in our question, we have an equation for market demand, but we don't have an equation for market supply. And we need that to find out equilibrium price and quantity. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Let's call the amount that our market supplies big Q subscript S. And this amount will be equal to the sum of what our individual firm supply. And let's notate the amount supplied by a single firm, lowercase qs. Because each of our firms are identical to one another, and because there are five firms in total, we can then say that market supply is equal to five times the amount supplied by any one of these firms. So five times q subscript s. What we need to do then is just find an expression for our small q subscript s. We can get that by finding our firm's supply curve. Now, in order to proceed, we just need to recall that in perfect competition, the firm is going to set their quantity such that price is equal to the marginal cost of production. Now, we know from the question that marginal cost is equal to 90 plus Q, so we can substitute this expression into that condition and we get P is equal to 90 plus uh, Q and I'll put a subscript S here because this is a supply function for the firm because it relates the price of the good to the quantity supplied by the firm. Now I'm going to just manipulate this equation until that quantity variable is isolated. So in this case, the function is quite easy. All we need to do is take away 90 from both sides. So I get the quantity supplied by the firm is equal to P minus 90. Now substituting this expression into our market supply equation that we were talking about before, I get the quantity supplied in the market is equal to five times, well, price minus 90. Opening out that bracket, we get quantity supplied is equal to 5p minus 450, and that will be our market supply curve. This equation relates the price to the quantity supplied in the market. As I said before, our market equilibrium is given at the intersection of our market demand and market supply. So algebraically, this is where quantity demanded QD is equal to uh, quantity supplied in the market. I can substitute in the equation for my demand here. That's just in the question. So 990 minus 4P. The expression for my supply uh, is, we found that just before, that's 5P minus 450. And now we can solve for that price variable P. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 4P to both sides. I get 990 is equal to 9P minus 450. Adding 450 to both sides, we get 1,440 is equal to 9P. If we divide both sides by nine, we get the price is equal to 160. And that's P star, that's our equilibrium price that obtains when quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. Visually, that's just this price here. I can find the quantity traded in the market by substituting that price of 160 into either my demand or supply because they're equal at that point. I'm just going to put it into my demand equation and I get quantity demanded is equal to 
990 minus 4 times 160. Now, 4 times 160 is 640, and this difference comes to 350 in total. So that's our Q star, the quantity traded in the market in equilibrium. Now, the last thing to do is just to consider what each firm is doing. In this case, it's pretty easy. We know that the market uh, produces 350 units. We know there are five identical firms. So to find the quantity traded, uh, we could just divide 350 by five, and that's equal to 70. Another way to find the same result is just to use our firm supply function that we found before and substitute in that price of 160. So we would get firm supply is equal to 160 minus 90, which is 70. So we've just confirmed the previous result. You can do it either way, but it's good to confirm things as well. Visually, the result looks like this. The market price comes across where it intersects our firm marginal costs. We go down and that quantity would be 70. So that would be your diagram for your typical firm in this market. All right, so that's it. That's the question answered. We have market output, market price and firm output. I hope that the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are keeping safe and happy.